Morning boys and girls, it's assembly, it's Easter Monday, and we've got a surprise for you. Assembly, go, hold. Two, one. Surprise! Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> It's Easter Monday, I want a time to tell it. Make sure you sing it off, folks. Go tell the good news. and how God made the entire world in six literal actual days and day number five he made these beautiful little birds and I love birds, love to watch birds, love to learn about birds and all the, and what fascinates me about birds are the colours, the lovely colours, all the colours of the world you can see them in the little bird, bright fluorescent little colours, all shapes and sizes you can see them everyone and at this time of year especially you can hear the little birds chirping in the morning they're building their little nest because they're coming together to have little baby birds and laying their eggs and hatching them out and here are all the birds how many birds do you know how many birds can you name all different shapes sizes colors and here's the question for you does a bird have ears because every time i look at a bird you can't see evidence of an ear but yet they must have because when God speaks to little birds, they can hear him. And we're going to learn about that as well. So here's some of the birds 
uh, all the different reds, the blues, yellows, green, and different shapes. Big, big, short, big, long legs, short legs, the big stork, the little robins, the big strong eagles, all the different birds right across. Some Bible stories. The Lord mentions the, the birds quite a lot, over 300 times in the Bible. This is Noah. When God, and not only did God make the world, when he, the birds, when he created the world, but when he destroyed the world out of the boat, the, boat, the ark, Noah sent a raven. But the raven never come back, because the raven, the scavenger bird, it would live off the dead flesh and, and never come back. And after some time, maybe seven days later, he would send out a dove. And a dove's a lovely pure bird. And a lovely, uh, the bird come, the dove come back. Had nowhere to land because the, the earth was covered with water, and he sent it out again the seven days, and it got back with an olive leaf plucked off, and that was the, the dove in the days of Noah. But then this is my character called Elijah, and of course Elijah challenged the king Ahab, the wicked king, who made God very angry, and his wife Jezebel. And God, because he said, uh, how dare you make a, a, a false god, a golden image, an idol, and tell us to worship him. And to prove that God is the one true and living God, God said he would turn off the rain for three and a half years. And he did that. He told Elijah to hide behind the little brook, the wee brook Cherith, the little river beside the tree. And every morning and every night time, twice a day, God spoke to raven birds. Remember the scavenger birds? They don't normally share their food. And yet these big strong birds, not very nice birds. I showed you some beautiful colourful ones. Not many people take photograph of crows or magpies or ravens. Yet these are the birds that God was pleased to use. And God again is telling us, teaching us, that he can use anyone who's willing to be used. Whether you're really big, really small, Really smart, not so smart. It doesn't make no difference. We must have a willing heart and be willing to use by God. And for two years, God spoke to the ravens and they brought food to a ledge of bread and meat every single day. And then there's a big strong eagle. I love eagles. The wingspan of an eagle is about seven feet long. Beautiful, perfect, sharp eyes. They can see their prey from hundreds of meters off, they can spot the little animal that they want and they just come soaring down with their big sharp claws and capture. And yet the Lord speaks about in the book of Isaiah, speaks about the, about the, about the eagle and it teaches us to wait, it teaches us to be patient, it teaches us about renewing our strength, not to be weary, not to faint, but to lift up our feet and to lift up our voice just like the eagle's wings are outstretched and to be strong. And the Lord knows all about these eagles. And don't be weary, children. Even though you might be, find it tough not being at school, don't be weary. Don't faint because, faint because God will give you strength to keep going and to learn about him. And when this is all over, you'll be able to keep running and marching on for God. Your school time is important, but you can learn as much at home and these are wonderful stories to encourage us to renew our strength like the eagles. And then of course there's the wee sparrow. And sometimes a wee sparrow can faint, can fall off the tree, it can fall on the ground. And nobody notices, nobody seems to pay attention. But the Bible says that God, he knows about when a wee sparrow falls to the ground. God knows all about that wee sparrow. But he says, don't worry. Because he says, children, boys and girls, you are more valuable to God than the little sparrow. And yet he knows all about the sparrow. He loves that wee bird. But how much more does he not love you, his children? So children, don't fret. Don't be discouraged. And most of all, don't live your life without God because he loves you. And he wants you to give your heart and your life to him. And then... You see the little sparrow this time of year, all the birds are building their wee nest, then the wee eggs are laying their eggs, and they're hatching their little babies, their little birds out, and the whole thing keeps going. Just who teaches a bird to build this nest? Who tells the bird to sing? Tomorrow morning you listen, and you tell me if you can hear the wee birds sing, and I love to hear the birds singing early in the morning. Lovely, lovely tune. And then of course there's the old rooster. Remember the story of Peter? <coughs> When 
the rooster crowed. Peter just denied the Lord Jesus three times. What a challenge that is. Imagine saying I don't know Jesus. I know nothing about him and I don't even care about him. That's what Peter said. But when he realised what he'd done, the Bible says he wept bitterly. And then of course there's the pigeon. People would often bring gifts and sacrifices in Bible time. If you were wealthy, you would bring a big bull or a cow. If you had some money, you'd bring a sheep or a goat. But if you had no money, you were very poor. You would bring a pigeon or a turtle dove. And whenever Mary, the mother of Jesus and Joseph, they came in to the temple, that's all they brought. See, little G baby Jesus was not born in a wealthy family. He was born in a poor family. He didn't have much. He was born in a stable, not in a hospital. He was wrapped in, 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 in uh, black rags that are used to wipe down animals. He was placed in a manger. So was the baby Lord Jesus. He was born poor to die that we could be rich forever by having Christ Jesus in our hearts. It's wonderful, the message of the Bible. Then the Lord Jesus, the Bible says, he was outside Jerusalem looking over the city and he began to cry. He began to weep. The shortest verse in the Bible, it says, Jesus wept. Why did he do that? Because the people could not see why Jesus came into the world. He came in to save them, to bring them back, and they couldn't see it. And he wept so much because the people just went about, going about their normal lives, and they couldn't see why Jesus came. And sometimes God needs to stop everything, stop the world from going around. To give us a moment to ask ourselves, what is this world all about? Surely it's about thinking about God and his purpose for us on this earth and why Jesus came. And he wept because the people didn't care and they didn't understand why Jesus came to this world. And he went on to say, he says, as a hen gathered his little chickens or little chicks under her wings, how much more will I not gather you? Because, boys and girls, a mother hen loves her little chicks. She gathers them. Why does she do that? To protect them, to care for them, to keep them warm. And that's what the Lord Jesus wants to do. He wants to love us and protect us and care for us and watch over us. But we're like those people in Jerusalem. We don't care about Jesus. We don't care about God or do we? And that's what the Lord keeps saying about the mother hen. And the mother hen calls the little six and they come running the moment there's danger. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to protect us and look after us and watch over us. But I wonder, can you see the picture? The picture of the Lord Jesus calling us. He says, little children, come on to me. Come on to me. And he says to the older people, the disciples, allow the children to come. Don't stop them. Let them come. And boys and girls all over the country are coming to Jesus, giving their hearts to Jesus. Most Christians today became Christians when their children primary school age. That's the best time to start living your life and running your journey with God. And then we're going to finish off, boys and girls, because you see these are little eggs. Do you know what a, an egg, what came first? People say the chicken or the egg. Well, it was the chicken, the hen. Because when God made the animals, he made a hen, and the hen led an egg, and then it had a hen, and the whole reproduction kept going. It's well, not complicated. But you see these three eggs? It's amazing how they're made. And I've got a hen. Look at my hen. Ha ha. Yes. Here's an egg. An egg. And do you know this egg, boys and girls? A little baby could do this and crack it. Now, I'm, I've got the average strength of a man, maybe even above average. And this is not a trick, but I'm genuinely going to push this with all my might. And I can't crack that egg. You explain that to me. A simple little hen lays an egg, and it's so strong, the average man cannot crush that egg going long ways. You try that. You can't do it. And then, I'm going to put that back. And we're going to do a quiz, but hold that. Hold! So, I've got something to show you. I've talked about eggs, and we've talked about chickens and hens. Do you know what this is? 
This is just a piece of a piece of um, a, a dish cloth. I'm going to make something because uh, you might wonder what I'm. Has anyone any idea what I'm going to make? Well, sometimes Joanna asked me to cook, and I thought, what I love to eat, well, I love chicken. And I thought maybe sometimes there is no chicken. Well, I'm going to make something. Hmm. Ah, you be able to try this? Yes. What have we got here? And what have we got in here? I have to find out what's missing. Yes. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, what's it going to be? Anyone know? Have you any idea? Okay. Now we're looking for a chicken. Go into the garden, catch a chicken, and There's a chicken. <laughs> okay. You didn't know I could do that? Yes. Now what else have we got? Well, the competition today is uh, painting eggs. So you, have to, you need the eggs, and I'm advise you to boil the eggs first. You know what happens if they're not boiled? And paint them. And then get your mum or dad to ever to take a photograph of your painted eggs and one photograph and send it off. And on Wednesday, we're going to have prizes for the best coloured in eggs. As we send them to you, worksheets by Colin at gmail.com or messengers the best. To hope for youth ministries. All right, now eggs. I love eggs. Oh, I would love to give you all a, a, a little Easter egg, but oh, you know, you don't know what to do. Well, here's what you do, boys and girls. Look at that wee egg. It's very, very small, and I wonder what's inside. Mm. It's brown. It's chocolate. It says, "Kiss me." Mmm, 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 quiz! Nearly forgot about the quiz! What quiz? Eggs, eggs, eggs! Yes! Eggs! We've got more eggs! Oh, sorry I'm eating Easter egg. Right, question for the girls. Who can tell me, girls, what day did God make the birds and the animals? What day was it? Fifth. Day. Well done, uh, Blue. <coughs> Fifty. Well done, boys. What bird fed Elijah? Not the crow. Raven. Yes. Well done, Yellow. You have to be fifty. One hundred and fifty. Boys are winning. One zero. Okay, girls. Who can tell me? When the little, what animal, what bird falls to the ground and God knows all about it, he tells about it and, and look. And the, the sparrow, well done. Brian, what's it worth? It is worth 50! We're doing sets, don't forget. And boys, whenever uh, Noah sent out two birds, what was the first bird from the ark? Raven, again, yes, well done. Red. Two zero to the boys. Just saying, girls. What was the second bird? Uh, four letters starts with D. Dove. Dove. Well done. White for a dove. Okay, good. Two hundred and fifty girls. That's impressive. That's impressive. We're doing sets. Remember, not number sets. And it's two nil. Boys, you need more than two fifty. What animal? That Yes, the rooster. Well done. Orange. Boys, you need 250. Can you get it? No. So it's 2-1 to the boys. Girls, you can tell me. The Lord Jesus, he was, he was crying over Jerusalem. And he said, as a what does gather us as chicks, so do I not want to gather the people. As a hen, well done. Purple. Well done, girls. This is for girls. Yes. 80. And boys, what's the shortest verse in the Bible? Jesus wept. Well done. Which one? Gray. 80. And he's one of 300. 3 1 to the boys. Guys, you can't even win. But we're going to double this up. Whoever gets this one's going to be the winner today. All right? Girls. The Lord, we told you then about the... What bird does the Bible describe as, as it soars into the sky, gives us strength and not to be weary and well-doing? 
the eagle. Love the eagles. Pink. If I did choose that one. Boys, you need to beat 200. Mmm, got me hard. Boys, uh, we were talking about a hen, talking about chickens, talking about birds, all sorts of bird shapes, sizes, colour. Mary and Joseph, what bird did they offer as a sacrifice when Jesus went to the temple? A pigeon. Turtle loves a wee pigeon. Right, you need to beat, was it 200? It is! Oh, 200! Right, whoever sings this last song is going to be the winners today. God is for me! Ready, everyone? What are you doing? assembly this morning we pray lord you bless all the children thank you for this easter time whenever we think of the good news of the lord jesus not only died on the cross but he rose again and we can have christ in our hearts forever because he died for me to take away my sin bless the boys and girls we pray in jesus name amen see you wednesday but i forgot hold on don't forget on friday we done a special worksheet and we're going to continue that because it's about Jesus rising from the dead. And the idea of the eggs, whenever I was a little boy, we used to roll the eggs down, the, roll the eggs, paint them. Then we would roll them down the hill. And that was the competition. How many times did you have to roll it till it got to the bottom? And that was reminding us about how the stone rolled away from the tomb and the Lord Jesus rose from the dead. It's a lovely picture to colour in. There's the girls coming to visit and he's not there. I am the resurrection, the life. Spot the difference. Five different things in the top one, eight different ones in the bottom. Amaze. And remember, dear Colin, any questions, comments you have about the Bible, about being a Christian, anything like that, it's your time to learn about God. So I'm away now to enjoy my... Eggs, would you want one? Do you want one? Here, you ready? Catch! Catch! Woo! Ooh.